Okay, today I've got a pair of four motorcycle cylinders in the CNC. Uh, these are very similar to the, all the older bikes that had an integral cylinder head. And you can see these are in pretty rough shape. I've got some, some gouging going on and pretty rusty. So I'm going to put some sleeves in here. Uh, I've got them mounted in my fixture strictly for this purpose. Uh, just bolts for the flange uh, at the base and I've got them supported underneath for the little swivel head. Um, there's the there's my boring bar. Um, I've got them centered up and I'm just going to take a, a 30 thou cut and we'll uh, show you the process. I've got it all ready to go. So we'll hit cycle start and there we go. Here I'll hold the camera up close here. All this rust is, is really nasty on tool bits. So it'll kill the first couple of bits. You can tell it's just a nasty cut. So uh, this is the boring process. I've, I've got to take about 100 pounds out of the cylinder. This is the sleeve all be. Uh, when I finish this, I uh, will next show you how to install the sleeve. Okay, I have the cylinders all bored to size. I'm giving them a thou and a half interference fit. Um, here's my little cooler uh, that the sleeves are in. Uh, that's liquid nitrogen. They've been in there a couple minutes. Uh, they're fully, fully frozen. So I'm gonna take those out and slide them in the cylinders so there's no trauma on the cylinders. Not a press fit operation. They'll just slide right in. Just like so. All right, there's that. Now we'll let them, we'll take about a couple hours for those to stabilize temperature wise. Um, when I uh, through with that, I'll trim those leaves to length and finish more and hone them. And Okay, now I'm taking a final bore on these cylinders. I've trimmed the sleeves to height. Um, I'm starting at almost the end of the first cylinder um, for about an inch to go. Just, just so you can see what the advantage of the CNC machine is. How it can uh, just go from one cylinder to the next in, in perfect center. Uh, when it gets to the bottom here, which is very close, right there, the tool actually retracts away from the cylinder wall and pulls up. Uh, that prevents the tool from dragging on the way back down. See, now we've moved over to the next cylinder, and uh, we're going to take a final cut there. And I'll, uh, after this, I'll just put a chamfer on the bottom of the sleeve, and then into the home uh, for a final, final piston fit.